I have a little confession to make. I have a wicked case of drawer envy, and here's why. This is actually legit what my drawer looks like right now. No, that hasn't been staged. And if you look at my t-shirts, they're also quite uh, disorganized. Now, when you live with somebody who's neat and tidy and perfect in the clothing department, like I do, AKA my husband, Chad, and this is what his t-shirt drawer looks like, which many of you guys saw at the Bed Bath & Beyond haul video that we did last week. It becomes a little bit frustrating infuriating to live with that all the time. So I figured, you know what? I am gonna revamp my drawers so that they look store ready, store beautiful. I'm gonna make them look way better than his. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. And of course, because it's me, I am figuring out the easiest and quickest way to get that all done. So without further ado, let's reorganize. Well, this is awkward. We're gonna kick things off with my underwear and bra drawer. I'm going to start by removing everything from the drawer and this allows me to take inventory of my unmentionables and maybe prune a few items right off the bat. For my bras, I'm going to clip them up and store them one behind the other just like they do at the store. You can use a drawer divider to ensure they all stay in one place. For my underwear, I'm just going to fold them into a nice little package and file them in a similar manner to the bras. This saves a ton of room and works better than my old method of just dumping everything into the drawer. The result of a very easy job. My bras are all lined up back to back. My underwear is stacked in these two easy to access beautiful columns. And I have done such a great job that I freed up an entire third of my top drawer. You know, sometimes I even impress myself. And now we'll move down a drawer to a slightly less awkward subject matter where we can check out my t-shirts. You can see they're pretty uh, sloppy. And again, the reason why I wanted to do this whole project is because Chad's drawer is just so freaking beautiful. Anyway, the reason why this is such a great method is because not only can you see what's on each shirt, you know, when they're folded and stacked on top of one another, you really don't know what you have. But the other thing that's really interesting to note is that because the clothing isn't being weighted down by the weight of the other garments, you're actually not creating wrinkles and creases in your shirts the way you would be if they were folded and stacked one on top of the other. So we'll start this drawer as we did the first drawer and empty everything out and take inventory of what I have in here. The secret to an organized t-shirt drawer is in the folding. As you can see, I'm folding each side of the shirt in and then folding it in half, and here's the trick, in half again. This allows for any prints, which are usually on the chest, to be easily visible without having to root around. Remember to have the print side facing the floor when you're folding, that way your image will show on the front. For tank tops, I'm gonna fold them in half lengthwise and then repeat the same folds as the t-shirts. Then I'll file the shirts into the drawer quite like folders in a filing cabinet. I think this looks great. I have economized more than half of the space in this particular drawer and my t-shirts are so much easier to access I know everything that's in there. I got reacquainted with a lot of the shirts that I completely forgot about, and clearly, I need to do some shopping. I can't decide if showing you my underwear drawer was more embarrassing than what I'm about to show you here in my sock drawer, but I don't know, you be the judge. Look at my ridiculous sock drawer. I mean, this is like, crazy. You guys are free to throw your virtual tomatoes at me. I get it. But I wonder if your sock drawers look any better than mine. Anyway, there is a really interesting theory about how to fold your socks and I'm going to give that one a try and see how it actually works out for all of this. I'm taking it from Marie Kondo's book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which I know a lot of you guys have read. It's very interesting. And her theory is that if you ball up your socks like this, I think she calls them like baked potatoes or something. A lot of people don't like this. As you can see, it's really hard to organize, but also uh, eventually it does stretch out the elastic bands on the top of your socks. The whole reason those are there is so that they can stay up on your shins and not just ring around your ankles. So without further ado, let's give her method a try and see if it makes my sock drawer look any better. Again, I'll start by removing all the socks in the drawer and removing any socks which are not worn or too worn. So here's how socks should be folded. Take both socks and lay them one on top of the other. Fold the socks in half, fold them in half again. And congratulations, you have now apparently folded your socks correctly. Once folded, I'm gonna put my socks back into the drawer in the same orderly fashion that I use for my bras, undies, and t-shirts. And voila, 
an organized sock drawer. The drawer turned out absolutely fantastic. Marie Kondo's method worked beautifully, it was very easy to do, and I think this looks very organized and store-like. This is pure Canada, you get this with your Canadian passport, and this extra space over here is going to be used for my pantyhose. I am thrilled with my little drawer revamping endeavor. As you guys can see, I don't care if it's perfect or color-coded, I just care that it's done and that it's easy. So I hope this helped you. I wanna know if you are going to be embarking on your own drawer reorganization journey. If you are, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you have any folding tricks down below, because I would love to give them a try if you are doing this project, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. The guy with the neat t-shirts is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hello again, this is the part of the video, the very end of the video, where I throw your attention to two other videos related to this topic that you might really love. The first one over here is how to reorganize your closet. Mine is right over there, and we basically revamped that entire thing last year, so I'm sure you'd love it. Check it out. The other video is five laundry tips and tricks, little known secrets, or unknown secrets, I should say, about doing your laundry. I make it a lot easier for you, so be sure to check that out as well. We've got a blog. I don't know if you knew, but now you do. It's at cleanmyspace.com, so be sure to check it out, and we will see you next week.